is basically when you know when to bump somebody, right? So bumping some, somebody, especially when you're going for a finish, it's extremely crucial on when you do it. And Harry does it so well. He'll bump them right before the shot blocker is about to jump. And when you're about to jump, are you on balance? No. And he gives them just a tiny little nudge, and there's no, they can't even get off the ground because he bumped them perfectly. So we're going to do a drill here that's just going to increase your physicality and get used to just being physical as you drive to the, to the basket. So offensively, T, if you're here, all right, you're on the left side of the line, ball, you're going to be on this side of the line. All right? You are going to have an arm bar on your shoulder into him. He's going to be dribbling with his left hand. It's called bump the line, okay? You are trying to stay on this line, T, and you're trying to get him off this line, okay? But you're just both using your shoulders as you drive into it. Does that make sense? Obviously, don't be an idiot and trip him or something, okay? But your force is going this way, and your force is going this way, okay? But that's how it should be when we drive. Does that make sense? I'll demonstrate 50% that so I got a sprain angle. Okay? But if I'm going here too, you got an arm bar here and I'm going here, we go. Does that make sense? You're trying to get me off the line, you're trying to stay up. Okay, what's basketball strong mean? No. Knowing when to bump somebody. Okay, but there's, obviously weight room can help, but does weight room strength mean everything in basketball? No. Okay, that's very overlooked. Alright, let's see it. Let's go write that down. 1v1 bump the line through. 